In this tutorial, we'll have our first look at the flip chart. Remember how we calibrated the Mimeo in the second tutorial? It's important to calibrate all interactive whiteboard applications before using them. And the process is the same for each one. I've already calibrated, so I'll open the flip chart software by clicking on the icon. Here's an important point. You can open the Mimeo or any other interactive whiteboard flip chart and practice on your computer at any time, even when the whiteboard is not connected. So you can master the software at home or on your laptop. You don't have to be in the classroom and you don't have to be connected to the Mimeo or the whiteboard. Right, here's a quick tour of the flip chart. We'll look at it in more detail in later tutorials. This box in the middle of the screen is the toolbox. It's very important. You can open and close it like this. Close and then tools, Mimeo tools to open. The pen tool is what we use to write with. You can change the colour and the thickness of the pen. OK. You can create new pages in the flip chart by clicking on the Create New Page button. And you can move between the pages by using the arrows at the top. Page 1, page 2, or you can go to the slide view page and navigate from there. Finally, you can save your work by using the save function. The save button is exactly where you would find it on a Word document. To open the saved file later, just click on it. Remember to save it to a folder that you can remember. Saving files is really important because it means that you can prepare a flip chart lesson from your own computer at home before you start teaching. Then open it in the classroom and you can use it again and again and again. Being able to create new pages means that you can have as many teaching materials as you like in a single file.